can I hit you with one more? Yeah. Because it was in regards to what we were, you were talking about before. So this is from Joe, and he says, could you expand more about prophets? Uh, John was the last of the Old Testament. I'm assuming he says means New Testament. Uh, yet we see Agabus in Acts. Right. And so um, you need to, uh, John, you need to understand that in Ephesians 4, um, Paul wrote this during the time that the book of Acts is being written. And um, in, I, I just read from Ephesians 4 in verse 11, it says, He himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastor teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. And so these are, these are offices that were in place in the early church. And let, let me, uh, without making this a, a big old long answer, you need, to, you need to understand that when you're talking about an apostle, we, we have a, a flavor to the word apostle, and we're constantly, when we hear that, we're thinking of the 12. And they are a special case. They were the witnesses of the ministry and the resurrection of Christ. We have their testimony in Scripture, okay? And that's, that's why Scripture can't be written today, because the, the whole New Testament is testimony about what Jesus taught and how, basically, um, how the, the body of Christ is supposed to go. And it comes from the guys who were taught by Christ. And so that's, that's something that, um, by definition, cannot happen today. Be and when I, when I say taught by Christ, literally Jesus was there talking to them is, is what's taught about that. And you can see that in Acts chapter 1 when they're um, looking at, the, at replacing Judas as an apostle. They give, uh, they give an outline of what an apostle is supposed to look like. Um, but that's not the only term that's used, or that's not the only way that an apostle is used in the New Testament. Apostles are also, uh, we would call them missionaries, guys who go start churches. And so uh, Paul and Silas and Timothy and, and, and uh, all these guys were apostles. Uh, Barnabas was an apostle. And, and so you have these guys who are going around starting churches, and they're called apostles too. And uh, earlier on in an earlier um, uh, question, uh, you know, I was talking about apostles and b-apostles. I got that from um, Gail Irwin. And the apostle is one of the 12, and a b-apostle is all the other guys who are basically just missionaries. And so you have that in, in the context there. Some apostles, some prophets. And so like you said, in the book of Acts, there's Agabus. And Paul is called a prophet, and Barnabas is called a prophet, and Silas is called a prophet. These guys were also prophets. And obviously, you can, you can see from the writings of Paul that he prophesied. So 1 Thessalonians, chap, uh, 1 Thessalonians and 2 Thessalonians are books that are nothing but books of prophecy about, uh, you know, the end times is mentioned over and over in those books and not just confined to those. John, uh, the Apostle John, is also a prophet. Uh, he prophesied, he, uh, God used him to write the book of Revelation. You have Peter prophesying. And so he tells you what's going to be happening in the end times in the book of Second Peter, it's almost it's uh, almost confined to prophecy, and so you you have a number of uh, prophetic writings in the New Testament. And Agabus is a great example of of a, uh, of a prophet that's kind of outside of the guys who are writing scripture. He never wrote scripture, but he did prophesy certain things, and and it was after. Uh, the death and the resurrection of Christ. And so Agabus is considered to be a prophet, and uh, the standards for prophets out of the Old Testament would apply to him. He, what he prophesied came to pass. We only know about a couple of his prophecies. There, uh, Philip the evangelist also had some daughters who prophesied. They're not called prophets. It says that they prophesied. And uh, there are some translations that title them prophets, but a prophet was an office. And uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a place where uh, uh, their ministry was used all the time. And so you, you got to make some distinctions there. And so, again, you have prophets after the, the fact with um, Agabus and some other guys. And um, I believe that you can still have that today, but the standards still apply. So, you know, there's guys running around saying that they're prophets and if, it, you know, and they mouth off a whole lot, and a lot of the stuff that they say doesn't come to pass, they are not prophets. They're guys who are mouthing off. Um, uh, then there are other guys who speak with a prophetic voice. God uses them in that manner, and uh, he calls a nation, he calls a people, he calls the church 
uh, back into righteousness and, and uh, uh, that kind of situation. And so, um, yeah, you can you can have those things, but but you got to you know again you got to be careful with this because uh, people start start going you know getting you know out in left field and thinking that they have power and authority that they don't have, and so we need to watch out for it. So. All right. Hey, thanks for posting, Joe. Appreciate you watching the show, man. Hopefully yeah. that helped you.